Okay, August 16th, 2.52 p.m. We're almost to the end of our biochar there. We're just burning away here in our fluidized bed combustor. You see a few more sparks. There really isn't a whole lot more carbon there left to burn. Most of that is ash and sand. But it seems to be going along like a trooper. I mean, it, I, it is not, it didn't just fall off and stop burning. It just seems to be gradually dwindling. So I want to see how easy it is to restart this. I'm going to add a little bit more uh, wood pellets to it and see how easy it will restart. And what will happen when I put it in, we're likely going to see a bunch of condensation, a bunch of white cloudy uh, vapors coming off of it as it boils away the water vapor from the wood pellets. I'm not going to put in a whole lot at first, just a little bit. Starting to smoke now. Part of that's going to be water vapor and part of it's going to be uh, combustible gases. And it's, yeah, it's combust you can see the secondary combustion right there. Wow, that took no time at all. No time. And we're off and running. And it's good. That wasn't even a whole handful of pellets. Now, we were watching this thing earlier, and uh, we would notice what looked like a solid mass forming down at the bottom. I think some of our sand was actually beginning to glassify. It formed this uh, sort of a congealed mass, semi-solid. It is very, very hot down there. You can see the fluidizing action. You can see how the wood pellets are starting to roll around. Perfect, look at that. They're just starting to roll around. That's what I wanted to happen. The wood pellets are now getting mixed with the, uh, the finer powder. Keeping a nice, even distribution of heat. Enough oxygen to keep the, uh, the primary combustion going. But we're definitely getting gases up here that aren't burning until they get to the very top. So that's very promising. We are gasifying like we wanted to. The biggest drawback I see right here is the sheer amount of air that we're using to uh, fluidize the bed. If we're looking to make ourselves a self-sustaining gasifier system, I can see a fair amount of energy going into just pumping air, compressed air, to make this thing fluidize. So that is a drawback. That is a disadvantage. Um, one of the ideas we're talking about is maybe to fluidize this mechanically, either with a paddle wheel or with a, a chamber that gets shaken or rotated so that we're not having to use air to do all the fluidizing action.